All right, everybody, it's Old School Nerd. I literally asked you, okay, on the last El Estepario Sibiriana reaction, I said, listen, what's the one I need to do next? Don't screw around. A lot of you are huge fans of this guy. Just like me, you love what he does. But I said, what's the one I got to do? What's the one that everybody wants, to do, wants me to check out? And overwhelmingly, I was told this one, the Bongo song. Now, I have done reactions to his hand pan work, which I love. I'm a student of hand percussion. I play the djembe, the cajon, the dubek, bongos, congas, but I play them with my hands. This guy is a master hand percussionist as well. He's also probably one of the best stickmen on the planet right now. Okay, he's one of the greats. Are you ready? This is my reaction to the best of both worlds when it comes to percussion. Bongos added to your drum set? Wait, is that a thing? All right, here we go. I'm, I'm not gonna stop it, I'm just gonna let it play. Because, let's be honest, you guys don't want to hear me talk. And it makes me sad.
damn. <laughs> Even he was like, oof. <laughs> yeah, he knows. He knows. All right. Hey guys, how are you doing? Exactly as I promised on the last video. And by the way, if you have not seen it, it's Everybody Dance Now. It's a classic and you've got the link right here. On that video, I promised I was going to show you the new piece of gear that I'm going to be using for all of my professional recordings here at Novo Studio. And that's the Neve Audio 1073 preamps. This Jeez, without, it's a monster. Without, the best preamps in the world and have been used by your favorite artists ever on all of the recordings nirvana yeah. michael jackson dire straits pink floyd whatever you name it all of them have recorded their albums using this kind of gear and this is the first video where i'm using them in order to run all my microphones through this now this it was very clean of equipment that i need very to clean take all of the recordings to the next level and there is literally nothing better than this so i'm so glad to present you the new drum sound that we are going to be having at this studio this really is well done 1073 ladies and gentlemen and that is exactly how it sounds so from here i want to say thanks to all the crew at neve audio for letting me be a part of their team thank you so much guys i appreciate it i hope you like this video if you got any request please let me know on the comments and as always see you all very soon on the next videos buddies stay safe and take care cheers now a lot of people would just skip over the um the part where he's doing his sponsor you know video part or whatever I i'm gonna leave it in and the reason why i'm leaving it in is because He's going to go off and make this amazing stuff. The least I could do is let him, you know, put it out there. Um, amazing. Okay. Now, some of you were noticing that I kept trying to pick up my shakers. Like I wanted to join in. It was a joke. I'm not even going to attempt it. I'm not that good. Uh, <laughs> so that was kind of the joke. But you guys did see during the reaction, and this is my review now. You, during the reaction, I put two, 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 and I put the time. And then I put three, 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 and then I put the time. The reason why I want you, the reason why I said that was because during the recording, I didn't want to stop it because I wanted to enjoy it. But at the same time, I wanted you guys to pay attention to a time code. At 222, from the very beginning, this entire section you're watching, all the way to two minutes and 22 seconds, everything he was doing was reminding me of a particular person. My favorite drummer of all time, that guy, Neil Peart of Rush. If you ever saw Neil Peart play live or in Rush, a lot of times, he would do a drum solo. And a lot of the things that he did from the beginning to two minutes and 22 seconds, Neil did during his uh, drum solos. And Neil was amazing at it. And El Estepario is doing his own style. It's his own way. It, it reminded me of the way, a way Neil Peart would do it because Neil loved using different world instruments, bongos, congas, samples, different styles, different um, f uh, drums from around the world to create these different tones and features throughout his drum solos. But once we got to 222, then El Estebario went off the, off, way off on his own with it because that's when his speed and his variations in style start to really take a hold. Now, I don't think he was trying to mimic Neil Peart, but look, greatness knows greatness. And he was playing something and styles with bongos, adding them to that different style of his drumming. And it does remind you of Neil because Neil did it for years. And that's high praise, okay? We're talking about my favorite drummer ever growing up. And I'm reacting to one of my favorite drummers now. Um, and 333... I wanted to go into that one because that's where he really started to segue into some stuff I've seen done by other people. I say people, not person, because I've been in some drum, drum ensembles where I was playing Cajon or Doombeck or Djembe, and we were playing in an ensemble and we were layering different percussional elements to make sounds similar to what he was doing in after three minutes, 33 seconds into the end of the song. Here's the catch. There were six of us. <laughs> he was doing all of it by himself. Now, there are takeaways, positive and negative, to what he's doing in this one. 
And, and believe me, I'm not trying to critique this guy at all. El Estebario is the best at what he does. But when you play a Congo using sticks, it does change the tone. There are things that a hand percussionist can do with their hands, both to reduce resonance, to increase resonance, change tone by pinching and pulling upon the head along the rim. And here's the thing. He can't do that with sticks and it's okay because he's doing everything else. Now, here's the thing. I challenge you to check out some of his hand percussion stuff because he knows just about as much as anyone I've ever seen using just his hands to control tones because he's one of the best hand pan drummers I've ever seen. Check those out on his channel too. Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. I love this one. Thank you guys because you guys literally picked out the one that really makes me happy. This one probably makes me more happy than any drum cover reaction I've ever done. Why? Because he incorporates the things that I loved from Neil Peart in his own way that makes him unique. And he's putting two things together that I love, cultural hand percussion and amazing drumming from a kid standpoint with sticks better than anybody in the world. My name is Old School Nerd. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll have all of El Estebario Sibidiano's information below. If you don't know who this guy is, please check the description below. Go down that rabbit hole. You will not be sorry. And with that, he's still going. And I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.